find a challenge. I really, it's a hard one because I don't really. Um, yeah, when do you get bored and when do you need new challenges? What is this extreme? When do you, what is it about? I don't know. I need to be um, inspired to be, to, to start a process that wants to challenge me in the first place. I need to be looking for something that, uh, yeah, because I get bored pretty easy. So I need to engage myself in things that, the challenge, I guess, is, is trying to discover things I don't know or haven't achieved before or haven't done before. So, uh, and sometimes I might have done it, but I, um, and often when I've done something, it's like, yeah, okay, done. It's like a bucket list, tick that off. And then if I want to go and do that again, I need to find other ways to, to look at the same thing and look at a different way of challenging myself within that same model, if that makes sense. You know, like I've, in racing terms, I've won many races many times, but each single time presented different challenges, whether they be different athletes or, or attacking them in a different way. So how do I define challenge? It's just by continually doing things that I felt that I haven't done before. And um, what is challenging about endurance? What's challenging about endurance? This is hard. You know, it's and it's called endurance for a reason. It's it's hard. Like if and I like challenges that are difficult. So and it's like uh, you love to have this because there are other people who are just turned off because it's too painful. Is it yeah, it's 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 it's, like a, it's not a it's not just a pain thing. It's it's a challenging like it's a pain's one part of the process. You know, definitely because any performing at a for a long period of time in physical events like I do is. Tough, but it's uh, it's also the the whole it's a whole being, not just After a. All, or what does it mean to go over the limits? Yeah, I've never really looked at limits. I've only looked at my own, and and limits are obviously changing. I just went back to short course racing, and the kids in there at, at that level of racing are doing things that I didn't think were possible mm -hmm. years ago. But that's the evolution of anything, whether it's evolution of sport, whether it's the evolution of of business, it's it's just evolution. One one barrier is broken through, the next wave of kids think, well, I gotta go quicker, I gotta go quicker and, and I I think that's the whole reason we hear sports people say it's all in the head, because it really is. And if you can totally be free in your head and totally be limitless to some degree, then yeah, you are limitless. But that's a very, very difficult thing. It's easy to say in principle, but to obviously really believe and and focus like that is it's hard. It's like it's like saying I think I can do seven and a half hours in in Kona, in Hawaii, in my in my racing, in Ironman racing. People would laugh at me, but I'm sure in 20 years' time we'll be watching people do seven and a half hours, and everyone will be saying, "Well, it's easy. It's like the four-minute mile." High school kids do this now in the states, you know, where you know only 50 years ago this was considered the peak of human endurance. So. Yeah, times change and, and, and training principles change and people's perceptions change and people's beliefs change and yeah, that's uh, so limits are, are set by the individual. Your motto has been or still is, chase your dreams. Is it still your motto or did this change? I think it's still my motto. I think I, I yeah, I don't, I've sort of achieved all the dreams that I really set out to achieve as a kid. So you sort of get caught up in this lifestyle and this life and, and, you, and you set new ones as you are. Uh, As you, as you tick your list off and, and you sort of look at things differently and I'm like, oh, okay, that'd be nice to do. And, and, I, and I approach them in a different manner, but 